part about this is really hard to see. Hard to see. It's just kind of the thing. I mean, even if there was a camera up there, I don't know. That'd be tough. This guy right here, we'll talk about it. This is for something I already have. It's going to make my life a lot easier, I'll tell you that. Next kid here is uh, got more than one thing on it, which you might be able to tell. And so this is several attachments on it for the Summit tractor. So um, Summit's got a brand, you know, an attachment line, I guess I should say, as well. And uh, as far as I know, I'll get you more information in the future too. But as far as I know. Made in the USA stuff, which is pretty cool. Let's see if that's good enough there. So it's um, well, you know, you're getting a look here at uh, loader work with a uh, basically a power reverser transmission right now. And if you pay close attention, you can kind of see how it's a little bit jerkier, you know, going forward to back, and um, and you can control that. You know, you can adjust the throttle, you can you can kind of oh, slowly manipulate the clutch, right? Slowly let off, slowly depress and, and press down on it to, to help control that. But it is just inherently, at least in my opinion, not quite as smooth of a transition as a hydrostatic machine. You know, now if I were doing constant, like uh, I had a big pile of gravel or dirt, or stone, you know, that I was moving around and digging into. Um, Here we go. So we're looking at everything. Offloaded the center stuff off of the trailer. A couple things on these on the end here, sandwiching it all together. Brought over the grapple for the summit. All right. So um, this thing is pretty darn slick. I think it's going to be a Summit exclusive. You'll have to get more information. It's not available for sale yet. I was lucky enough to get my hands on it, but I love this grapple design. Nice short jaws, keeps the weight down. I got to get all the details on it still myself, but uh, I wanted to show this to you guys because it's a pretty sweet design. Um, functional, but it looks good too. I like that. This is Skid Steer Quick Attach. I, I keep meaning to tell you guys, it's been asked a lot, but the, the Summit does come standard with a skid steer quick attach, the two levers, so you can go from your bucket to a grapple, to forks, to a snow pusher, snow blade, you'll, you'll hint, hint right up there. Next thing we're looking at here is something I should have got a while ago, and that's gonna be um, a stand for the split fire log splitter. And so you might've seen us kind of makeshift in a little, you know, wooden stand, I wouldn't even call it that, but almost just like a something to set it on. Um, and, and this is the official stand for it. I should have I got it right out of the gate, but uh, very nice. Looks like it's gonna be a piece of cake to put together. So I'm gonna get that all set up and uh, get the splitter set up on there. And we're getting, we got a pile of wood here. <clears throat> uh, we're gonna get some of it on the Yapa splitter. We have to finish, we, we assembled something wrong there. So we gotta switch that around. There's always something to do, but we're gonna get some wood split on there, but then um, split a lot on the on the split fire as well. Next kit we're looking at is gonna be another pile of stuff, pile of goodies for the Summit tractor. So we've got, let's see, we've got a set of pallet forks on the back here. I can probably, I can go like that. Let's see the pallet forks, um, snow pusher, and a, uh, a snow plow as well. I wonder if this plow has a locking spring Trip on it now. It's got the it's got the springs. I'm just wondering if you can lock it out. I don't see anything right now. I always I always get curious, you know, if you can lock these and use them for uh, plowing dirt, you know, and if it, it's going to trip those trip springs all the time with dirt, that's not going to do any good. But some of these they design them to to, to lock out and, and do dirt as well. Um, it does have a hydraulic cylinder on there, hose right here, so um, that's cool. 
So it's got the third function on the front. Next one up that we're taking a look at here, it looks a little, looks a little weathered. It'll be just fine. I, I got this just too late in the winter last year and I never got around to setting it up. It's a, <laughs> a 97 inch wide pole type snowblower. So um, I showed you guys, well, a couple other ones. I've shown you a 54 inch on my 1025, a 78 inch on the 4066. This 97 inch is gonna be for the big Kubota, right? And so 97 inch will put it a little bit wider. I don't know, four, five, six inches hanging out on each side of the tractor. It's the biggest one that they make for the pull type. So you can, well, you can kind of see there's a big old honker of a PTO shaft here, but you hook up to the three point hitch you hook up your PTO shaft and you drive forward over the snow, all right? So really excited. I hope we have a good winter. If that farmer's almanac is right, we're gonna have a boatload of snow and I can't wait uh, to mess around with it. So we're gonna add on, uh, what is it? A hydraulic chute rotation and a hydraulic uh, deflector, all right? Because I just don't wanna mess around with that stuff manually when it's freezing cold. Um, you can get these set up with manual rotation if you want to. You can get it with a hydraulic or electric. Uh, we did, I forgot, we did an electric video last year on the 54 inch pole type. So if you don't have any rear hydraulics on your tractor, you can get that electric rotation on there. Just hook it up to your battery. It'll work really well. Oh yeah, that's right. You can also get, Chris mentioned it, you can get a hydraulic back drag on these two. So if you wanna, these already get pretty close. Well, I guess this one doesn't cause it's a honker, but uh, there's probably 18 inches of snow that could be right up by your garage door that you can't get. So you can get a back drag on here if you want uh, with a hydraulic lift cylinder on there too. So you can really go right up to your garage door, your retaining wall, parked cars, whatever it is, and pull all that snow away. So that's an option uh, for these blowers as well. And all this stuff, well, that's not true. Um, what is on our website? This blower's on our website. Okay, we sell these. Um, the attachments for Summit, you're gonna get those right through Summit. Split fire. You can, you can get to Split Fire through our website, but um, we kind of have a relationship with Split Fire of, I've wanted to work with them for a long time. So basically um, they want to sell product directly. It's the most cost effective way for them to do business. And I completely agree. So we kind of worked out a relationship for me to show some of their equipment and basically just have like a, you know, sort of like a monthly mini sponsorship type of thing um, in exchange for, you know, showing the stuff and videos and everything else and showing it in action and, and it's very high quality equipment but you can go right to split fires website and order directly from them folks we are proud to be sponsored by rimguard solutions a liquid ballast weight it goes right inside your tires completely hidden we're big on safety on this channel these tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory not only is it going to help with safety keeping those rear tires planted on the ground it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. Well, I'm gonna get to this one last right here because um, I'm gonna unpack it a little bit so you can see it. Uh, but this guy, we actually just got done shooting some video with and I thought I'd throw it in here. This is a, a little, well, UTV, ATV, garden tractor kind of uh, scenario. It's it's a pole type box blade, all right? So it's a very light duty box blade. And I'm not, it seems like I'm, when I mentioned it in the other video that we were shooting it, I'm trying not to disparage it because I don't mean to do that, but it is a, a light duty box blade. It's not made for a tractor. It's not made for a skid steer. It's, it's designed to work with smaller equipment, lighter equipment. Um, we were just grading out gravel on our 500 foot section of drive that we were doing over there and it worked well. You have uh, that electric actuator right there and hang on, let me let me show you really quick. Let me, I'll just show you, get that on. And so you've got a little key fob. Um, I'll lower that down just like that, all right? And so obviously you don't have any controls. You don't have a three point hitch on your, on your four wheeler. So you just use this, raise those right up off the ground and same thing, reverse the process back. It is a little slow. You know what, if you don't like it, go get a tractor. But otherwise, you can get this from Northwoods. They're kind of getting into the game on uh, 
the ATV attachments and, and getting their feet wet with this box blade. Pretty cool design, I think. And uh, you order it directly from Northwoods if you are interested and uh, save 5% with code GWT. You know, so it's also a good solution if you do have a, I don't know, say a UTV, an ATV, and a subcompact tractor, and you just want one tool that can work on everything, I think this would be a good solution for that. You know, I wouldn't go any bigger than a subcompact, like a BX or a 1025, um, but I think you'd be okay with that. But talk to Northwoods to be sure. Um, but on that note, if you're looking for something for an ATV, UTV, and maybe for a tractor. We also have another company that just joined the Discount Club. Super excited about it, um, but it's gonna be Packer Max. They make a, uh, well, you know how Rhino Hide that we sell the canopies are made out of that kind of almost like a bed liner material, HDPE, high density polyethylene. Same thing for these Colta Packers. So very durable, you fill them with water or sand. Um, great for, again, you know, you food plotters out there, uh, four wheelers, that kind of stuff. But you can get it with a three point mount if you want to. The other really cool thing and what actually, the whole reason I even reached out to them was I've been looking for a crimper roller. I've really wanted one and the Packer Max, you can add on or you can buy it as a combo, a crimper roller to the Colta Packer. And, and that's great for um, like the cover crops, you know, buckwheat, rye, uh, winter wheat, that kind of thing. And so you wanna roll that crimp it, crush those stems. And so it slowly dies as you've reseeded for your fall plots or midsummer plots, where the heck it is that you're putting down. But a really cool, very versatile tool, a good price point as well. So check out Packer Max again. You're saving 5% with code GWT. I wanna open this up a bit here. And it's got a like cross bracing. So, well, this is from Sweep All, all right? So take a look. Hang on, let me hold my arms out just for reference, okay? You know, this is almost close to six foot wide. Was it five foot tall? Over six foot, maybe seven foot front to back, all right? So if you get a Sweep All unit, you're not gonna have that uh, put on a lift gate and drop down at your house. You need to have a piece of equipment big enough to offload this or have it delivered to a place with a loading dock, all right? Um, we did some videos on a PTO powered Sweep All unit. It's a, it's a kind of a lawn sweeper on steroids and it'll, it'll take care of whether that's um, thatch or leaves or nuts or cleaning up a parking lot, like say you have big melted snow piles and you want to clean those up in the spring or um, apples, uh, goose poop, you name it. So for municipalities, uh, golf courses, construction service companies, campgrounds, um, you know, if you even have a big estate, you know, like 40 acres out here, there's a lot of different uses for a piece of equipment like this. And so we're going to do videos on this version. This is a, uh, I think it, I think it was a Honda powered version. Uh, that we got this time. So this is, again, the last one was a three-point mount um, PTO-driven unit. This is made for tractors, and this is gonna be, again, for ATVs, for UTVs, uh, you know, for garden tractors, you could even pull it with that, and it's self-powered, has a lot of electric controls. We're gonna go do a, a pretty in-depth video of this whole thing too, but uh, kind of just a sneak peek, and almost the, almost the theme for this video is is we, <laughs> we don't sell these. Uh, you order these direct from Sweep All and you get 5% off with code GWT. So, and again, I, well, we do sell a lot of equipment. I have a huge warehouse with all sorts of equipment in it, but uh, me as a business owner, I do like relationships when I don't have to buy a bunch of inventory and stock it. And so for me, it's a good thing. If I can, if it's still a product I like and I wanna work with the company, if a customer can go directly to them and buy it, it keeps the, the cost down because there's no extra freight cost shipping it into me and then shipping it back out. It's just a more affordable way to do it. And then again, the bonus, the kicker is that that discount uh, with the code, you save some money and then they can kind of track me getting a commission that way. And, and it's, it just kind of works out for everybody. So it's pretty cool. And sometimes I overshare, but um, I know a lot of you guys are interested and I try to be as transparent as I, as I can without feeling like it doesn't make sense for the channel. And so I think I meant to earlier discuss the crating when I was talking about how big it was, but the whole point I was trying to make is <laughs> how well packaged these things are. Um, you know, it's a big heavy unit that's inside there. There's no doubt about that. But these are some of the best packaged pieces of equipment that I see and the trade-off is that, that that costs more, right? So there's a there's a definite cost 
that comes with that. And, um, you know, there are some, some products that I buy, that I sell, that I could have packaged like this. But it drives up the cost so much for the end user that I, I choose not to, right? Um, it's a business decision, it's tough. You can go either way on it. Yeah, okay, yeah, Honda, Honda GX270 uh, engine on there. <laughs> it's a little different looking than my, um, than my, than my, uh, my PTO driven unit. You have some extra stuff on here, obviously the engine, battery right here. Uh, got this, oh my gosh, dethatcher rake, you know, spring tube tines on here, kind of like the dethatchers that we sell. That's an option, little parking stand on the front. Kind of has some bumpers and guard all on the front there too. I'm excited to put this thing to work. We're gonna do a whole video, uh, probably an overview and then a, a field test on it or maybe a couple of them at some point. Um, really sweet unit, they're expensive. These things are not cheap. And uh, so when I was talking about for the campgrounds, municipalities, golf courses, that kind of thing, or in a state that's got a lot of, a lot of acreage and a lot of uses for it, that's how you can justify it. Um, but you know, for the, the average guy who's you know got an acre and just wants to pick up his acorns once a year in the fall or his walnuts, that kind of thing, it's not a good fit for that. It's, it's just, well, unless you've got money to burn. Last thing, I'm gonna be getting to this soon. Well, I'm gonna be whittling away at it. We have a lot of stuff, a lot of parts that I ordered um, from 247parts.com. Okay, I got twill wheels on here. Um, John Deere stool, gosh, I got lots of goodies. Uh, load and go ramps, um, LED light conversion kits for a 1025R. A lot of different cool things. 24-7 Parts is another member of the discount club, so you use code GWT to get your savings. You gotta go right to their website. One of the biggest online John Deere dealers in the country, maybe the world, I don't know, but um, that's where I got all this stuff from. So anyway, we, <laughs> as much as I love John Deere, we know that stuff is kind of the green gold, so if you can save some money, do it when you can. Uh, again, code GWT. So that is gonna do it for us today. Obviously a lot of stuff coming, a lot of stuff kind of cooking and simmering, and so um, a lot of opportunities for videos for us too. So if you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button down below. And if you're looking for something for your tractor, well, most of the stuff today we don't directly sell, but we told you how to get it. But we do sell all sorts of things. So if you're looking for something for your front end loader or for your three point hitch, we'd love to help you out. Check out goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship stuff all over the country. So I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time stay safe we'll see you soon